Virginia Tech turning to the power of canines in the fight against a dangerous species. The target are these spotted lanternflies. Yeah, and our Jennifer Delgado is in Bethesda with telling us how or how dogs, how they can help with this situation that uh, a lot of folks want to clear out there, Jen. Yeah, that's right. You know, I think dogs can solve just about everything. Well, Virginia Tech also believes that dogs can help with the fight against a very invasive species. We're talking about the spotted lanternfly. You probably don't know what that is, but we have some video. I want to show you what it looks like. It looks beautiful, but it is truly a pest. It causes a lot of damage to crops as well as the agricultural industry. This is the video that you're seeing here. What Virginia Tech is doing at their uh, the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, they One of the concerns we have, in fact, in running the dogs is that uh, it's going to be so ubiquitous that they're going to be just hitting on, on everything. And so, as Sally was mentioning, it might be more useful to look at, at um, things that are being transported and try and prevent further spread. It might be challenging for some of these dogs to walk out and say, you know, find the spotted lanternfly eggs. And they're like, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, that's right. It is everywhere. And even some parts of Maryland, the counties there are infested. So we're outside right now in Bethesda. And if you look at some of these trees here, this is where you're actually going to find some of those spotted lantern flies. Right now, we don't see any out here. But if you do, they're going to be in the form of nymphs. That's before they actually start to hatch. Now, what Virginia Tech wants to do, they want to use 200 dogs to go around the area and sniff out some of these spotted lantern flies before they hatch as we go later into summer. We're talking more into July. Now, as I said, they may look beautiful, but they cause a lot of problems. And they were first spotted in Cecil County. That's in Maryland back in 2018. And since then, they, it's been spreading from the Northeast, now approaching into areas, including parts of the Midwest. Now, if you have a dog, all you have to do is reach out to Virginia Tech and search for the Spotted Lantern program. And they're going to hook you up with a program. And they say it takes about two weeks to train your dog to actually hunt out these uh, nymphs as well as the spotted lanternflies. Now, if you want to take part in this, it's a pretty simple program. Again, they're looking for 200 dogs, and they say any type of dog can be trained to take part in this program. All it takes is just the right reward. Now, if you happen to see some of these spotted lanternflies, what you need to do is actually stomp on them and then report it to the Maryland Department of Agriculture so they can keep track and make sure uh, this area is eradicated with the invasive pests. And if you're wondering, they're native to China, but when they come over here, they create a lot of problems. We already know that uh, invasive species cause about $40 billion in damage and crops in the agriculture industry. Right now, yeah. we'll send it back over to you, but right now, I don't have a dog, but um, uh, if you have one, there's a dog right there. <laughs> he might be the newest member of the Spotted Lanternfly program. Yeah, well, and we know Jen's got three you. dogs. She should potentially <laughs> contribute. Right. There's another dog. A lot yeah. of people can. I love uh, this. It's, it's good information to know. Jen, thank you so much.